So I think Concrete Jungle is a pretty unique type of game. It's a card building strategy sort of city building puzzle game. I, I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Let's just jump into it. So I've had my eye on this game for a really long time. I, I, I was very curious about how it was going to work and what it was like, and I, I don't know, I wanted to see exactly how the mechanics were all going to play together. It, it, it is kind of a, a, an interesting sort of blend here uh, for, for kind of all these different elements. Um, but So I, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm going to kind of show you guys a... I'm going to give you guys my little tutorial of how I learned how to play the game. We, uh, we're, we're in the tutorial mode in the campaign, but I've muted out um, the dialogue, which by the way, the voice acting is really, really good in this game. I, I don't know why, but I really, I mean, not only are the graphics good, but I just, I, I immediately picked up uh, for an indie game, you know, the voice acting is really awesome, it's incredible. So uh, anyways, um, there, here are the cards, and you're going to get these cards uh, constantly. You don't really get to choose the cards, um, and right now we can only choose between one card. This is the very beginning tutorial stage, so at the moment, uh, we have to choose the school. Um, so you place down these cards, and as I said, I've muted the, uh, I've muted, there's, there's voice acting right here, but I've muted her so that we can kind of talk, talk about, like, how the game works, and, and if you decide to pick it up on your side, there's probably something online where you can find, um, the exact game tutorial, but I figured I'd, I'd try to, uh, explain it myself. Um, so these blue tiles that are popping up next to this school are going to increase the... I want to say the yield, but I know that's kind of a little bit too sieve there, uh, but it does. It kind of increases the tiles around it, so um, it's going to increase it by one. So if we place it here, which is kind of a good location, um, because the point of the game is to, it's, is to get like a certain number in each column. There's here, here's one column, here's two columns, here's the third column, here's the fourth uh, column. You want to increase the number. So I'm going to slap this thing down, and uh, now you can see little ones pop up. Um, I think we need, to, starting off, I think we need three points in each column, and that column goes away. Uh, so that is kind of the, the goal of the game. So we slap down a school. Uh, now, now the next one is a house, and again, for, for right now, you have to choose this, you have to choose, it, like, this order, you know what I mean? There's only one card you can choose from at a time. Eventually, you'll get more choices, but, uh, for now, yes. So we have to uh, throw down a house. So I can pick up this, uh, oops, I forgot I have to, I have to talk to her. She's just trying to explain some things, I'm sorry. Uh, so I can throw that on this house. And that's going to give us a point in the column. Boom. Okay, so I actually, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize. We only need two points per column in the very beginning at least. So there we go. It's as simple as that. But things get really, really complicated. Um, you know, so there's the there's the target that we're trying to find. Uh, they pointed out here. So it, 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 it increases and it gets really complicated. Um, I, needless to say, I'm sure you guys could probably guess. So here's a car wash. Now it's introducing kind of these red tiles. So these, these red tiles are going to actually uh, remove... I want to say a yield, but I know that's not right. It's going to do a negative one um, penalty for the, for this tile, for those two red tiles. And then there's blue there too, so it's kind of like, uh, you got to find the right spot, you know what I mean? Um, so putting it like maybe at the edge could work, you know what I mean? Because you're getting rid of uh, one of the, the, the top part of the, the negative uh, numbers there. But I, yeah, I think we probably will do something like that. Let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll slap. We'll, so we'll slap it to place the car wash uh, to give to give house another point. Oh, to give the house another point. Oh, I get you. Okay, they want they want to experiment with that. So there it goes. Boom. Um, you can increase the house to another point. Now we finish off this column, and this column's gonna go away now. Uh, at least it should. So boom, it's gone, and now you have to keep going. And you have to continue to go down these columns, and as you can see, now rain is being introduced. I thought that was so cool the first time because they didn't even talk about it. It's just like, boom, now it's raining. I thought that was really, really awesome. Um, anyways, so that's kind of the basics of the game. But you'd be surprised at how complicated this gets really, really fast. Because then you have, you have a car like the factory, where it's like, oh my gosh, like you're just going to ruin everything. So this is something that you really don't want to put down right in the middle. Uh, I'm going to put this down at the edge, uh, unless it's going to make me uh, place the next three buildings in this column. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Never mind, it's going to make me do that. Uh, the brewery is interesting because it just... It just removes, you know, some of those negative numbers. Uh, it doesn't do anything else around it. So, boom, we'll put that all down. So now it's kind of showing us what happens if your column is full and you messed up. If you done goofed, it's okay. Because uh, you, can, you can hit this little negative heart here. And it'll allow you, it gives you a certain amount of lives. So right now we're down to two lives. We started off with three. So that way, you know, it gives you a little bit of breathing room in the beginning, at least. There's not much be there's not much breathing room at the end, that's for sure. Uh, here are the lives and stuff like that. Um, and so now it's going to continue to increase. Uh, here's our goal right here. 
Uh, so we want to continue to push these tiles away until we get to the goal. You know what I mean? We want to continue to con continue to meet, uh, meet each column's requirement of two points. Uh, so we don't need to worry about the negative. We can leave that alone. So what we could do is we could slap this down. Uh, we can put down this house, so you want to put down the house, if I were to put down the house here, that would be a bad thing, because now I have negative points, now I'm at zero back at this column. If I would have put it on an empty spot, it would have been okay. So, what I can do though, is slap down the school, and it's going to increase both of these tiles here, and then boom, we're up to two, and we're good to go. Look at that, so now we're three columns away from, uh, from victory. So, we don't go after... For now, we don't go after the, 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 the goal here, so I can slap this supermarket down without getting any of the negative effects from the top part of the, you know, all the other red tiles. So that's obviously really great. Um, so we could throw down a house here. Again, because it's only two, it's pretty simple. Uh, a shop is going to only increase one tile, and it's going to be the bottom tile there, so you got to be kind of careful with that. Uh, here's another car wash. See, if I were to place it here... Uh, it wouldn't be as bad because I could just boom and uh, I don't get any of the negative effects. It doesn't mess with these buildings because there's buildings already uh, in those places. So they can't, you know, mess with the yield in those tiles. Uh, another factory, I guess I'll slap it down at the edge here. Uh, brewery, we'll put that on a negative. Here's a school. And we can increase this tile to bam and then bam, that column's going to go away. We're only one column away. I'll just put this brewery up this way. Here's some houses and we'll run away with the victory, I think. Actually, we might not. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do something interesting here. So I've got to do that there. Oh wait, no, no, I just messed up. I think. Well, that's okay because I've got my little star here or my little uh, force clear column. So I messed up. I totally messed up in the tutorial mode. I I was not paying attention, and that's just kind of a given. Uh, looks like you're ready for the next challenge. Well, there we go. So. Uh, if I messed up the first tutorial level, this is not going to be so good. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like just fail or anything like that, but it was, uh, it was, I, I definitely made a mistake. So now for level two, the grid gets a little bit bigger. Now we're talking about a five by five uh, space, and it's we're going to require it's going to require us to get three points per column. Um, but the good thing is now we have more options because there's more uh, white borders, I guess. So we can choose between two cards instead of we're just being forced to play whatever order that was. So we're just going to skip over whatever she says. I hope that I don't miss anything. Um, and uh, I think I think we should be good. So here's a green. So they start introducing new cards now, and there's going to be a lot more cards still to come. Uh, again, we're going over like the basics of the game to try. I, I'm trying my best to explain it um, because I, I I looked at this game for a while, and I'm like, what what is this? I don't understand how this is going to work. Uh, so this green card is going to uh, you place it down, and then you can increase the the the, the I want to say yield so bad. I keep wanting to say it. The number. In the, in the tile that you you decide, so I can I can increase this to one right there. So needless, needless to say, that's a really powerful card because you know I mean a, a little a really powerful basic beginning card I guess I should say because uh, you can you know place uh, an extra point in in any tile near nearby uh, any any a tile adjacent to this green. So anyways, um, let's put down the car wash. I'll probably put down the car wash here again, and. Uh, Factories don't like factories. I guess we could use another green. Let's go ahead and uh, oh oh, it does, oh She wants me to listen to her first, huh? I'm just trying to jump right into it Yeah, so here's like a meter showing us uh, how much longer how much more of a distance we have to build out until the end of this level uh, One more thing uh, Yes, we've got we've got to make three points in each column So I guess I can so now it gets a little bit more complicated now. We need three points in each column uh, We'll put the factory up here in the corner Try not to mess with that. I'll put the brewery here. Uh, again, you know, kind of keeping, I want to keep as many tiles open, as many of these tiles open in each column. So that's why I didn't put the brewery in this uh, negative space here. Uh, so here's a house. So we can collect this point. Bam, so that we get two points there. We still need one more. So I could probably place down a supermarket. The problem with putting it down here is that I'm really messing up this third column. Um... I could, oh, there we go. Look, I can grab, I could just, uh, should we do that? Man, I'm re I still really am messing up that third column. I guess we'll do it because I see a library coming up, and the library's got a lot of extra blue tiles, and we'll probably place it there, try to eliminate as many of the negative uh, numbers as we can. Here's a school. Uh, the school should probably go about there, and I can finish off this column here too. Bam and bam. There we go. It's as simple as that, right? It's it's pretty simple. Uh, but then when they start introducing, like sometimes you know 
parts of the city will already be there as it continues to develop. As you continue to develop uh, and, and as this, you know, continues to expand, you're going to see like, whoa, what is that? I didn't build that. You know what I mean? So it eliminates uh, some of the freed up tiles that you might think. Look at this. Look at this park square. Bam. Uh, let's go ahead and slap it down there and make it as effective as possible. As, as effective as possible. Um, we've got a shop that we could really utilize in this spot here. Uh, I need to be careful of this next column co coming up because I only have two free tiles now. Uh, let's throw down a house. We could really utilize a green here to increase the value uh, for this one. School. Uh, I'm thinking uh, school. Where would that be? Oh, there's really, I guess here, right? Yeah, that'd be good. That way, all we have to do is put down a house, and that column's going to be set to go. Or ready to go. Set to go. I don't know. Bam, we'll do that. And increase that. And actually, we might we almost screwed ourselves there, which happens quite often. Oh, I, that was a misclick. Okay, that was totally a misclick. I totally made a mistake. That is pretty funny. Um, we still... Let's... Okay, here. Let's, uh, let's do this. Now, we've got a house. Let's get rid of this. Call. We don't have another house coming for a while. Which is kind of scary, but let's go ahead and do it. Get ourselves some more space to put some of these bad, like, bad buildings, like the factory. I'll throw this factory over this way. Uh, supermarket's probably a pretty good idea to do now. Yeah, so that column's pretty freed up. Okay, so here's a green. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Let's go ahead and place that guy down there. So these columns are ready to go as soon as we have houses. And the houses are coming. Uh, we can do a park square. And now the interesting thing is I, I really need to focus on increasing the value of this guy because three. We have a free spot up this way which we could use. Uh, for now, I guess I'll do this. Don't want to get rid of that three. Okay, there we go. So let's, let's bring it home. Let's bring some of these guys home. Bam. All right. Very nice. Uh, and now you can see this meter is starting to fill up with blue. Uh, we're about halfway there. So it's not, it's not looking too bad. We're looking okay, right? I think we're looking okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll, do, I'll just do it right there. That way we have for sure threes. And we could just completely move on uh, towards these top columns. Don't have to worry about it. I'll, I'll grab this column, get this out of the way, free up some space, and we should be good to go. So this is a perfect time to maybe throw down a factory. Um, actually, let's skip the factory for now. Throw down the car wash. And brewery will place down on the negative one. Here's a green that I can utilize. Uh, we will probably use it here since this is that not that many freed up spaces are here anymore. Mm, yep, we'll put that guy there. Uh, another green. Well, I need to be careful. I do need to start being careful because I'm running out here. I'll put it there because this is already for sure gone. Bam, boom. There you go. I hope I'm making sense here. It's 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 very strange, right? It's a uh, it's it, it's interesting. It's very interesting to say the least. Um, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll go. I'd like to put a lot of extra numbers here instead. I've got a shop coming up, and the shop can be placed about. I should probably place the shop. Here. Oh, jeez, I don't want to mess up this late. I don't want to mess up. Okay, let's just for sure grab that. Here's a house. Uh, I can I, so I can place down the house in a column that isn't at the bottom, uh, and it'll, it see it's green. It's lit up with green, so that's good to go. Like I've already got that in the bag, so I don't need to worry about it. Um, if I place this here, we don't need. Oh, whoops! I can't. That's right. You can't. So you can't build buildings on other buildings. I should have mentioned that. Uh, I guess I'll have to put it there. And now, so this is going to be interesting. So what I can do is I can increase this column, uh, even though there's something already built on it. I can increase the number, and then boom. So, uh, this still, we're still kind of in a pickle here. Actually, we're, we just found a school. That's, that is pretty good. Um, let's, let's place it there for now. Brewery, we'll just put that in the corner. Uh, I guess we'll start throwing down houses, right? Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll throw down the house in this corner. Uh, put a supermarket there. Now, whenever we get a house, we'll be set to go. Ready to go, set to go, ready to go. Put that there, house, bam. And there we go, we've got two columns finished up. And there it is, we just finished off the second tutorial. Not as, not as bad, right? I, not, I didn't do too bad, I don't think. Um, there goes that, I probably should have placed that, I could have placed that in a way better spot. Uh, but that's okay, we've got a green coming up and I can just increase that number and then bam. 
So simply put, and see, look, see, now they were starting to be like more, more of these, like there was a town kind of already being built or, or there was tiles already with buildings on them, I should say. So uh, that would have complicated things. Obviously, it probably wouldn't have ever gotten to the point where it was completely filled out. But yeah, that gets complicated when three out of the five spots already have buildings on them. Because as I, as I showed you guys, we don't have buildings. You can't put buildings on top of other buildings. So yeah. That's a pretty big problem. Uh, but later on in the game, you have different sort of mechanics that come into play, uh, different combinations. Like the numbers do correspond with each other. You can place houses next to each other and get different combinations and different bonuses. Uh, these numbers uh, are production and maintenance, like numbers that affect these bars here. Um, so things do get complicated. Oh, yeah, then there's like you can like look at exactly uh, sort of the different buildings you have in, in, in around, around the area. So this is like this is like small time. I just want to mention that. This is like the small stuff. Things get big. Things get complicated really fast. Uh, this is just a very, very brief overview of, of Concrete Jungle. So hopefully, guys, if you guys like this, uh, I, I leave a, I like this game. I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description below. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.